Good evening. My name is Emma Carter and I'm an LLM at St Edberg's Church in Bicester. If you'd like to join me this evening, I'm going to be praying the Compline or the Night Prayer from Common Worship and it's set for Tuesday the 9th of June. If you're on our email list, then Susan will have sent out an order of service for this service um, or you can follow on your daily prayer app. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought and word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. I'm going to say Psalm 143. The refrain is, show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord. And in your faithfulness, give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I stretch out my hand to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, Slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly I am your servant. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth and our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The scripture reading is from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, beginning at verse 28. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary, and are carrying heavy burdens 
and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. <laughs> for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Alleluia. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for this day, for all your daily blessings, our homes, our families, our food. We pray for all those struggling during this pandemic, the homeless, those who struggle to make ends meet, those without access to health care, the bereaved. Give our leaders and their advisors wisdom and compassion that they may lead us wisely through this situation together. <clears throat> Enable us to cherish the lessons that we have learned at this time and to use them to work for a better future for all. We offer these prayers in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with your celestial brightness. And from the children of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. <coughs> and now we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.